this video, we will be showing you how to use the Weldon VDR Viewer program to view recorded data that has been extracted from the Weldon Vehicle Data Recorder, or VDR. To open the Viewer tool, click Start, Programs, Weldon VDR, and VDR Viewer. A desktop shortcut can be created by copying the VDR Viewer icon from the Start menu to the computer desktop. Once the viewer is opened, you need to select the vehicle using the Vehicle Selection box. The data range for available data is shown at the top of the screen. Use the selected tool to narrow down the time range for the data you wish to view. Use the Starting Date Selection box to choose a specific date, or use the blue arrow buttons to cycle through only the dates that have available data. Use the Span Selection box to choose time intervals in minutes, hours, days, weeks, or months. Use the time selection box to choose a specific time. A red warning indicator will be displayed if there is no data found for the selected time intervals. Use the power on selection box to choose a specific event, VDR power up, or trip that occurred within the selected time interval. There are three tabs that are used to choose how the selected data will be viewed. The Summary tab shows information such as the number of trips and the number of times the park brake has been set. Responding means the warning lights were on with the park brake released. On Scene means the warning lights were on with the park brake set. Non-emergency travel means the park brake was released but the warning lights were off. The Elapsed Time panel indicates the total duration, the amount of time spent moving and stopping, as well as the time duration for the trip stages. The speed panel shows average speed, maximum speed, distance, duration at different speeds, and ABS events. The truck performance panel shows maximum RPM, average idle RPM, and max throttle position. Select the seatbelt tab to look for seatbelt compliance during the selected time interval. Dark gray seats indicate positions that are not used. Black seats indicate seat positions that are present but unoccupied. Green seats indicate seat compliance, meaning that each occupied seat also had its belt fastened. Red seats indicate a violation, and will also include a number to indicate how many violations occurred for the selected time period. In the vehicle, there will be an instant indication of a violation if at any time the occupied seat indicates an unbuckled seat belt, or if the seat belt is fastened before the seat is occupied. Don't cheat the seat. The viewer will only indicate a violation if the duration of the occupied seat with the unbuckled belt is no longer than 30 seconds. It will indicate a violation for any instance of a belt fastened before the seat is occupied regardless of the time duration. The VDR and the viewer program will allow up to 5 seconds of lost seat occupant signal in a belted seat that might occur in a bouncing vehicle with recording a violation. The data tab is selected to examine time stamped history of recorded data. The data is displayed in the table above and the graph below. Event categories are shown in the first column. Engine speed, throttle position, and vehicle speed are considered analog data and are recorded by the VDR from the J1939 data bus. Acceleration and deceleration rates are displayed in the G-Force value and are calculated by the VDR using vehicle speeds at one second intervals. The ABS, Emergency Master, Park Brake, and Service Brake are digital signals indicated as engaged or disengaged. Each recorded seat position will show as vacant or seated and buckled or unbuckled. The top row indicates time. Note that hovering over certain items with the mouse pointer will open up pop-up descriptions of that item. The time interval for the displayed data can be changed using the selection tool at the end of the top row. The shortest interval is one second and the longest interval is one day. The slide control at the bottom of the table is used to change the viewed data. The Summary Selection tool is used to select how the data will be displayed in the data table in the graph. This only applies if the time interval is set greater than one second. The choices for analog information, such as engine speed, are minimum, which will display the lowest value in a given time interval, maximum, which will display the highest value, or average. 
Choices for digital signals are most often, which displays the state that occurs the most during a given time interval, halfway in, which will display the signal status at the midpoint of each time interval, always engaged, shows only if the signal is always present during the interval, and ever engaged, will show the signal if it occurs at any point during the time interval. Seat status summary choices are non-compliant, compliant, most often, or halfway in. To generate a summary report in PDF format, click File, Generate Report, then click Save. Here are some of the information you can find in the printable summary report. The vehicle name, the date it was prepared, reporting period, daily maximum, hourly maximum, and maximum minute-by-minute -minute values. To export the data to a spreadsheet compatible file, click File, Export Data, then click Save. To exit the program, click File, Exit. For more information on the VDR Viewer or any other Weldon product, please contact us at area code 614-529-7230 or toll free 1-800-989-2718. Visit us on the World Wide Web at www.weldoninc.com.